Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today I'm doing a full review on a bit of an old foundation but one that I haven't really heard a whole lot about and that I tried out for the first time a couple of weeks ago. This is the Even Steven Foundation from The Balm. The Balm has one of my holy grail face powders which is the Sexy Mama Translucent Powder. So when I saw that they were on Hot Look and that powder was half off, I picked up two of that powder and also on Hot Look the foundation was there half off as well. So I wanted to pick it up and just try more from the brand because I realized that I've really only tried that face powder from the brand. I've only really tried a whole lot of other stuff so I really wanted to branch out and try more products from The Balm. In this video, since I've been using the foundation for a bit, it's not going to be a first impression, it's going to be a full review. You, and in this video I am going to be doing a full day wear test so you can see how it wears throughout a full day in the middle of the summer. So before we jump in, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like these foundation reviews. If you have any other suggestions for foundations that you would like to see next, please let me know down below. I have combination dry skin, so I have really dry skin like on my cheeks and then right here in this little triangle gets really oily. So my skin is a little bit unique in that way and I don't see a whole lot of combination dry reviews out there I tend to see a lot more combination oily reviews. If you're not already I hope you consider subscribing and then a little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video and let's jump into the review. So first off the Even Steven foundation only comes in eight shades. The shade selection is pretty garbage we're just gonna put it at that. I was able to find a shade for me this is in the shade light medium which is the third lightest shade and I'm not that fair and then also it doesn't seem to go that dark and the shade that they call medium dark is not medium dark. I'll go ahead and throw a picture up here of all the shades that are there. Honestly, I thought there were more shades. I didn't realize they only had eight shades. I, I'm not sure how good this foundation is going for them, so I'm pretty sure they're not going to expand the shade range. But still, only eight shades. Like, that's what you see from like a drugstore brand that's first coming out with... A foundation like it's kind of shocking to me that the balm can be like such like a like a middle like range makeup brand and come out with a foundation with only eight shades so that put me off quite a bit um it is 22 dollars from the balm website again i didn't buy it from the balm i bought it from Hot look which is a flash sale website and i bought it for 11 dollars which is half off for 11 dollars you get 0.45 fluid ounces you don't even get half an ounce in here that's the one thing the size of the package is tiny tiny so this is your packaging right here it's a small little container just like this and then the foundation is right there on the inside honestly for the amount of product you're getting i wouldn't pay the 22 dollars for this it's less than half an ounce they do say a little goes a long way in the description and I can agree with that, but I still don't think this is worth $22 for this much product. According to the website, the Even Steven Foundation is a light, airy, souffle-like texture that's truly whipped. A perfect complexion is par for the course with this ultra-pigmented formula. I agree, this is really pigmented. I was shocked at how full coverage it is. <sighs> Available in eight long-lasting shades with a natural matte finish, Even Steven will have you teed up and ready to go in no time. I have to disagree there. I do not think this is a natural matte finish this is a matte 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 finish like this actually reminds me a lot of the Marc Jacobs remarkable foundation in how like matte and full coverage it is all right so with all of that out of the way let's go ahead and put this on I've been trying this out with a few different primers and since it's such a matte foundation I've been trying to go for moisturizing primers but I don't know if it's just like the foundation on my skin it doesn't seem to like moisturizing primers it tends to just look really cakey and kind of like flake off so the best primer that I've found that it works with is like a silicone based primer so today I'll be using the NYX Studio Perfect Photo Loving Primer So I found that the best way to actually apply this foundation is with a sponge. I've tried using a brush like a flat top kabuki and I've tried using a brush and then smoothing it over with a sponge. I think it's just too pigmented 
too matte of a formula, at least on my skin, to use with a brush. I really think it needs the moisture from the sponge to just help it out a little bit. And since it is so pigmented, you're not really losing any coverage by using a sponge. And that is one mistake that I made the first time. I used way too much product. You really don't need a whole lot of product. I'm gonna stipple this around as soon as I find my mirror. Okay, so I turned down the lights a little bit so you guys could just see. This is one really thin layer, and then this has another. So the way to actually make this foundation work is to work in really thin layers and just build up where you need it to build up, because this can look like a mask really fast, really fast. So it does give me good coverage on my forehead and like on this part of my cheeks and what I'm really going to build up is right here where I have some breakouts and then down here. Again, just a little bit of product going with the sponge. So now we have the foundation fully applied on this side of my face. It does set a little bit, but it's still a tiny bit tacky. I wouldn't want to set everything with powder with this on, just because it is such a matte foundation, but I will be setting right here and then right here where I tend to get really oily. And then this is with no foundation on this side. So again, I'm just going to do that same routine on this side of my face. Overall, it doesn't take a lot of product to do a full face. It just takes a little bit longer to apply since you do have to do like really thin layers, build it up where you need it. Okay, so I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick this up, but it's really not sitting well on my nose, especially around here and over here. So overall the nose is just not reacting well. And this is like the best I can make this foundation look. The rest of the face looks pretty good right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup and then I'll show you what the completed face looks like. Okay guys, so we're back with the final look for today. I kept it super simple on the eyes and the lips. Really wanted to focus on the foundation today, so let me zoom you in so you could see what we're working with. Okay, so I think this is the best lighting for this. I really only set with a powder my under eyes after I put the concealer on and then my cheeks. I didn't set anything else because it was just so dry you really couldn't. So the rest of the face is actually looking pretty good right now. The forehead actually looks pretty nice. I didn't set it. It looks really good. The What I'm really not liking is how garbage my nose looks. So we're gonna just look at that. It looks dry, it looks flaky. Look at the side of my nose. That looks terrible, and I just applied this, look at this. So it is a little bit upsetting that it does look so good on the rest of my face and just immediately looks like garbage on my nose. That's normally an immediate no for me for a foundation if it cannot look good on my nose, and typically it's not gonna work for me, but we are gonna keep this on all day. I'm working from home today. I didn't even tell you what time it is, did I? It is 8.53 right now, so we're just going to call the check-in time 9 o'clock. I'm probably going to wear this for a full day. I want to do at least 10 hours so you guys can see a full day of wear. So the next time you'll see me will be in a few hours. I have to go do my hair and get some work done. Okay guys, so it's currently 1.35 p.m. So the foundation's been on for about four and a half hours. And this is how we are looking so far. I, I think that overall it does look a little bit better now that it's kind of like settled in and warmed up to my face. Like down here it looks okay, but I am seeing some breakthroughs starting to pop out. I think my cheeks area look really good. I'm not a huge fan of how the concealer looks with it, but that just could be like the concealer not working well with the foundation. And my nose still looks really bad. Like I... I don't know why it looks this bad around my nose, but it still looks good everywhere else. Like, especially my forehead. I think my forehead looks really good, especially since I haven't set it. Again, remember, I only set, like, right here. 
blush bronzer highlight still seems to be on. I just really don't like how it looks around my nose. And I think based on that, it wouldn't... I mean, because I don't want to have to like wear two foundations and like wear a different one on my nose. So I'm not sure if that's going to be a deal breaker. Probably going to be. So I'll keep wearing this for the rest of the day. I just finished working and I'm actually filming the eyeshadow palette to clutter that I keep talking about. <laughs> just surrounded by palettes. So I'm gonna keep working and I'll check in at the end of the day. Okay, so it is now 6.48, just before seven o'clock. So it's been on for just under 10 hours. I really wanted to do this update in natural light, but we lost sunlight really quickly. So there's hardly any natural light right now. So we're just gonna go under my normal lights. The foundation has completely rubbed off my nose, just totally gone here it's rubbed off around here and i didn't actually do a whole lot i didn't really leave the house today i just stayed in i worked from home did editing i cleaned up a little bit and it's broken down all around here forehead is oily no longer dewy and i hate the way it looks on my breakouts so overall i've given this foundation way too many chances to do well and it just hasn't I don't think it was even worth the 11 you know, I don't think it was worth half off for $11. So this is probably a foundation that I'm going to declutter since I've given it so many chances and I've tried so hard and no matter what, it looks kind of garbage. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this video, you'll give it a thumbs up and let me know down below if you want to see any more foundation reviews and I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye.